Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. So it's Monday the 1st of March and today, today I'm up early. Reason being is my car needs a service. I've got that booked in at the garage today and I'm going to drop it off this morning. So I'm going to catch up with you guys when I'm back from dropping the car off. Sweet guys, so car all dropped off now. I am literally carless. Not a single car in sight. Seeming as I don't have a car for the day, I thought of a little idea of something I could do for today's video. Just as I'm going to be around the house for pretty much most of the day. So I thought of a good video idea for today's vlog. Now I think this is sort of something that I miss and I kind of miss it on purpose. So I used to sort of do like a, a setup tour or a gaming setup tour every sort of year I do little changes to my setup and I do like a tour of it and I haven't actually done one of them for quite a while now and only reason being is I've not really made that many changes to the setup and it's sort of like my work desk as well so it's not always the tidiest but I feel how my room and how my desk now looks I'm happy to do a tour of it. So guys, welcome to my 2021 home office and room tour. Let's get into this. So first thing to start with guys is obviously the main part, the desk. So this is my current setup at the moment. Now about 14 year old, 15 year old me would have called this thing a gaming setup. But now there's no aspect of gaming about it. I used to have an Xbox on here, that's no longer here. The PC can run games, but it's built for video editing. So it's more a video editing machine. So this is pretty much just my home office editing suite, if you like it not a gaming setup. It could be a gaming setup, but I call it an editing suite. But yeah, this is my desk, and I am rocking three 22-inch monitors here, all made by Acer. Now, these monitors are absolutely amazing. They are brilliant. They are quite cheap as well. I think they were £100 per monitor, so not too bad for a good monitor. Now these monitors are actually held up on a monitor arm, a triple monitor arm. So this big um, monitor arm is actually screwed into the desk and it holds all the three monitors. So they look like they're kind of floating, which is pretty cool. Just another thing to point out, yes, the desk is gold. I actually had the desk wrapped in a chrome gold. Yeah. Yeah, it's still pretty cool, but I am going to be changing it a bit later on this year for like a whole new, a whole new desk and a whole new setup. But for now, it looks pretty cool and it's very different, so I do like that. Moving on to what's actually on the desk, though, we've actually got my keyboard here. It is a Corsair K55 RGB, I do believe, and a M65 Pro, also made by Corsair, and the Corsair lighter mouse mat as well, which is really, really awesome. Not too sure what this one's called, though. And then here we've actually got my two phones. So I've got my personal phone here, which is obviously an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I've made a few videos using this phone. And then my work phone here, which is actually my old phone, which is just an iPhone X. And that's really cool for keeping all my work stuff separate. On this side of the desk, I've actually got a four port USB hub just for plugging USB things into if I need to, like a USB drive or something like that. Just for a bit of an easier access to plug that in rather than putting it in the computer down there. I've then got a lightning cable here which is actually connected to the computer so I can just plug that in and connect my phone. If I need to transfer files or anything like that off my phone, I've got that there on the desk and a wireless charger for charging my phone quickly. Notepad, pen pop, boring stuff. And then I've got my 2019 MacBook Air there which is really, really cool for when I go out. I can edit all my videos on there and it's extremely powerful to do that brilliant laptop. Actually behind the monitors as well, hidden, we've actually got a SD card reader to plug all my SD cards in when I'm obviously transferring video footage 
onto the computer. And then underneath the desk, we've got my custom built PC as well. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with this yet when I build the new setup. Am I gonna rebuild this one or get a whole new PC? But yeah, this is still running pretty well for about three years old, which is cool. Under here, I did used to have an Xbox One, but I've actually replaced that now with just a filing drawer because that's what my life's come to. I've grown up in the world. And then below that, I've got a few hard drives and a USB hub again, just for plugging in different external drives. So I've got a big hard drive there, which all my backup goes on to. And that one there is for all my YouTube videos. And obviously the PC's got SSDs and hard drives in for all of the sort of files as well. So I think that's it for the desk side of things. So I'm gonna move over now to this side of the room. So this bit here is sort of just my little area where I've got a few things. I've got some sunglasses here, got my Apple Watch, which I don't actually wear that, that much, but it's really, really cool. And it's obviously gold, which I'm a massive, sucker for gold for some reason. I just like gold colored stuff. Got an old iPad mini there. I don't even think this actually works, but yeah, that just sits there. My wallet and my keys there. Bedside table, not that exciting. I've got an Apple Watch charger there and another wireless charger for my phone there. Obviously got a drawer here, but we won't go into that. And then I've got my bed across the room here. And then opposite the bed, I've got a TV there. I've also got um, a TV cabinet here and on here, I've got stuff like my bag to put my Mac in, the TV remote obviously, and various little dongles and wires to plug into the Mac. Above the TV, I've actually got a few little ornament things. I've got right up there, a YouTube clapperboard and a YouTube mug. Got a few little ornaments there, like a camera mug and that. And then I've got obviously the golden pineapple, custom pop vinyl, and a golden Rubik's Cube. Yeah, I didn't think the gold thing was that bad until filming this video, and I've actually realized there's quite a few bits of gold in here, but bling, bling, bling. To the side of the showers, I've actually got some YouTube view milestones, like certificate award things, which are pretty cool. These are actually from TubeBuddy, so big shout out to them, because these things are really cool. I think they're really cool just to print off and just have somewhere. These are obviously all the views, and you can see when I hit the goal. Seems to be something about the 10th though, the 10th of, of months, because that's when we seem to hit all the goals. You can see here, December the 10th, 2017, 70,000 views. May the 10th, 2018, 90,000. 100,000 on August the 10th, and then the big 200,000 on December the 10th. Something about the tent going on there. And then under here was actually my invention that I actually created in my previous video. Now this is my camera battery charging station. Now what I actually have here is all my camera chargers under here in like a little bit of an area where I can just charge all my batteries for my cameras. So we've got the G7X's charger there, the Canon 700D's charger there, and my Canon 70D's charger there. And I can just charge all my batteries in there nice and neatly and they're just in their own sort of place to be charged and then now i've just got some jiffy bags and that for when i sell stuff online just to send it off i've got some packaging and that there actually moving back over to this side of the room i've got my wardrobe here so i've got all my clothes in there not that interesting they're my clothes and then we open this one here. This is actually my cupboard with all my storage bits in and my camera equipment. So down here, it's not that interesting. We've got a few filing bits, some leaflets there for my business. Can shelf up is pretty much the same, just some filing bits, some more leaflets and filing folders. Next shelf up, again, not that interesting. Just some sprays there, scissors, Morrison's more card, and yeah, just some random bits in there. Next one up, this is sort of more of the techie sort of shelf. So we've got my AirPods there, a phone, iPhone toolkit, so like take the screens apart on that. Some screen protectors and cases for my 12 Pro Max. Wall plugs there, USB cables, audio cables, HDMI cables, etc, etc. Next shelf up, now this is actually my camera equipment shelf, and yeah, this is all my camera equipment. So what I've got here is my SD cards, all in this case here, and then in this one I've got my wedding videography SD cards. So yeah, in this one we've got some super high storage SD cards and super fast SD cards for all my wedding videography that I do. 
I like to keep those cards separate and obviously you need big storage for them too. To the right of them I've got my camera batteries. So I've actually labelled everything here just so it's all organised and I know what ba what battery the camera is for, what the battery is called and obviously where they are. I've also put this note here just to remind myself or if anyone else puts the batteries back just to remind them or remind me that they need to be fully charged because there is nothing worse than picking up a battery when you're ready to go and shoot something and it's dead. So yeah, always keep your batteries fully charged. So I've got the 70D batteries there and the 700D batteries there. Got some more battery chargers there, GoPro accessories, the GoPro camera Hero 6 is all in that bag there. Got some ball heads um, and some little studio lighting down there and lens caps for the lenses for the cameras. Got two Gorilla Pods in the middle of the shelf and then to the left of that we've got the Canon 700D with a Rode Video Micro and a dead cat on and in front of that we've got the Canon 70D with the 10 to 18 millimeter lens on and the Rode Video Mic Pro. Absolutely love this camera, it's amazing. And then above that, just some boxes, nothing too interesting. Also, if you're new around here, I'm actually saving up to buy myself a BMW 1 Series by the end of this year. So I've got these pictures here for a bit of inspiration. Sweet guys, so that's it for my 2021 home office and room tour. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'd also love to see some of your guys' desks and setups and bits like that. So drop me a message or drop me a tweet on my Twitter or my Instagram or my Snapchat or whatever, any of the social medias. I'd love to see some of your guys' setups. Now I do have one more kind of area to show you guys. I guess it's kind of my, like one of my working sort of areas. It's more just for like or storing my bigger camera equipment and that. And that is actually upstairs in my house. So in this cupboard right here, I've actually got all my much bigger camera equipment which obviously can't fit in a smaller cupboard in my room. So right here I've actually got my Zion frame which is the free axis camera gimbal. That is really, really cool to get some awesome steady shots. Bit of a mission to set up, but once you've got it set up, that is really, really cool to use. And then here I've got some camera tripods. In this bag here I've got a camera slider for getting smooth shots. And in this big bag here I've got my softbox studio lighting, which is really cool to get some really cool lighting. But yeah, that is that guys. So I'm showing you my big cupboard up here with all my larger camera equipment. I've shown you my smaller cupboard downstairs in my bedroom with all my actual cameras and stuff like that that actually fit in a smaller cupboard. And I've shown you my desk and my room. Now I'm just back to waiting for my car and feeling lost because I don't have a car. I don't even know why I'm moaning to be honest. I don't even need a car for today. I've got literally nowhere to go. I don't need to go anywhere in the car. Guys, I'd just like to say a massive thank you because we are literally two subscribers away from hitting 3,000. And honestly, guys, this means so, so much to me. And now I know it's not a huge amount. I know there's a lot of other YouTubers out there with 3,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers or millions of subscribers and here's me being all like oh my god 3,000 subscribers but it is honestly like I when I started YouTube I would have never thought I would even get one subscriber to be honest and here I am literally on 2,998 I wouldn't even be surprised if we actually hit it today or tomorrow We've been gaining quite a few subscribers every single day. Um, honestly, I am so, so grateful for all the support. Hello to all you new subscribers. Hello to all the OGs on here. We are all one big family and I honestly cannot thank you guys enough for coming and watching my videos every single Friday and checking out my videos and being so supportive, leaving comments, leaving likes, messaging me. Honestly, the support is unreal and I am honestly so, so grateful. Just seeing this number here honestly makes me so, so grateful. To think nearly 3,000 people have clicked on that subscribe button to my channel is honestly mind-blowing. But anyway guys, that's going to wrap up today's vlog. A little bit of a different one for you guys today, just sort of a stay indoors, stay at home sort of 
video, gave a little bit of a tour of my room. We are so, so close to hitting the 3,000 subscriber goal. Honestly, I am so, so grateful and I'm kind of lost for words. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I'm ending this video off a little bit earlier today. I'm going to go and grab some lunch in a minute and then I've got some work to be getting on with just some editing work and then hopefully I'm going to be picking up my car a bit later on this afternoon once it's all serviced and tickety do. But if you guys did enjoy this video, remember drop a like rate and I'd really, really appreciate that and smash that subscribe button if you are new around here. Maybe you will be one of those two people they get us to 3,000 subscribers. So with all that being said though guys, I'll catch you all in my next video. Laders. What was that?